Good morning, afternoon, evening guys, you're locked into Conscious Minds TV and this is The Cotch with DDG and this is episode 4 and today my very special guest is Stavila Elohim Ra and today we're going to be talking about the occult meanings of Jesus Christ, Santa Claus and all other things relating to Christmas. How's it going brother? It's going great, how you doing? All good man, I really appreciate you taking your time out to talk to me, it means a lot brother. No problem. Yeah man, My I've pleasure. been... Sorry, go ahead. I said it's my pleasure. Yeah, I've been um, following your work for a little while now, and I can honestly say, say I'm a big, big fan, so it's great talking to you. Uh, before we get into the main topics, can you just uh, let us know uh, where people can see your work on social media? I know you have a YouTube uh, channel. Uh, explain to the viewers what they can find on there, and if you have any other platforms. Uh, t John Stovilla Elohim Ra on YouTube. That's my... My channel on there. You can find me on Facebook through Stove Jason Stoddard, and that's pretty much it right there. Where I share my works at for now. Cool, brother. Okay, before, like I said, before we get into the main topics, I just want to talk to you a bit, not on a personal note, but just to get an idea of how you got into this type of knowledge and your spiritual journey. So, was there a specific point, event, or something that happened that made you search? for the truth, or is it just something you've always done throughout your life? Well, I started out, like, my dad committed suicide in 2004, and I, I went to the library, I was looking for, you know, how to collect his social security money, you know? Okay. And I started getting in, into sovereignty and all that, and I come across Santos Bonacci, and, and I watched all of his, watched all of his videos, and, you know, yeah. just led me into astrology, and and everything, you know, it just it just keeps every everything just keeps building up. There's everywhere. There's a lie everywhere. Yep, pretty much the same as well, brother. Like, I'm sorry to hear about your loss. Uh, oh, that's, that's a, okay. that's a big you. big shame, brother. Um, yeah, I would say pretty much the same as well. Not obviously, I didn't lose no one, but I went through my own personal struggles, which um, put me on the path to watch certain videos and certain stuff and I, I can honestly say as well that Santos has been a big big influence in my current journey that I'm on as well so I can definitely um, I definitely understand where you're coming from with that um, also talking about astrology um, what is your star sign and what do you love most about your star sign or if there is anything you dislike what is it uh, I'm, I'm July 5th <clears throat> so I'm cancer cardinal water yeah uh, I like it because it's the only <clears throat> only water sign on the top on the the royal arch above. You know, I, I like being up there. <laughs> yeah, that's all good. Yeah, I'm a water sign as well, brother. I'm a Scorpio. Right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's all good. Right. So as I said, the main topics of today I want to talk about is uh, Jesus Christ or Christ and or, and Santa Claus. Well, first, I want to go into the whole. Um, Jesus thing. As we know, Christmas is approaching. Many people celebrate it, but obviously they don't know the true meanings or the hidden meanings or what it's all about. Um, in terms of the etymology of the word Christ and Jesus, what can you tell us about that? Well, <clears throat> Jesus comes from Jupiter Zeus, and it was spelled. They used it was spelled Jupiter with I U. And then they they had they had the the sus on the end, I U S U S, Jesus. Yeah. And then it's, it's just all, it's all just a play on the sun, is what it is, really. Yeah. They've, they've added more and more to it as they go, you know. December December 22nd, you know, is the, the winter the winter solstice, you know, the sun stops for three days and then it's got to climb back up. Yeah. And, it, and that's when it, it rises again and then it's born again on March 21st. As the risen savior in Aries, which is a rise. Yep. Okay. Um, I see um, you did a video about, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you did a video about the whole Christ and the Christ, uh, and you um, spoke about, is it the KRST? Or Q U R S T? Could you elaborate yeah. on that a bit? Yes, yeah, it's, it, it's in the alphabet of Q R S T U. It's the Christos oil that's released from the Santa Claustra in your brain. You yeah, know, it, it goes down your spinal cord, the 33 bones of your vertebrae, which represents the 33 years of Jesus, 
you know, and then it, it rises back up, robs Peter to pay Paul from your pineal is above and your penal, which is below, which in the Bible is testa and testi, you know, and this, 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 the Santa Claus is, this Santa is an anagram for Satan, yeah. and Claus is an anagram for, for Lucas it's or Lucifer, Lucifer, isn't it? Lucifer. Yes. Yeah, I wanted to talk, I was going to ask you about that anyway, but carry on, sorry brother. It's just, when, when Christmas starts, it's right there on the, on the winter solstice in, in Capricorn, which is the goats, you know, the god of all things, which comes from Pan, he had the hairy goat legs, and he had pants, you know, Capricorn is Capri pants, the knee caps, where all the caps comes from, and that's where Saturn, Christmas is a Saturn alien, you know, they changed, it should be Christmas, you know, people don't understand, they say Christmas, you know, the Christos oil is is the 616, the Last Supper, six disciples and six disciples and the, Jesus the Son in the middle of them. The 616 would be crystal, which is the Christus oil, you know, and when you say that as one word, Christu oil, it's crystal, you know. Oh, wow, yeah, wow, I didn't clock that, that's right. Yeah, and then they, they just, they keep adding more and more, like Saint Nick, you know, People have seen the Adam Sandler movie, Little Nicky, where the devil is Nicky. You know, that's St. That's Nicholas comes from, you know, in like the Left Behind series. If anybody's seen that or read the books, you know, Nicholas is the Antichrist in there. You know, it's just all this satanic stuff they put in there. You know, like the Star of Baphomet on the top of the tree. Yeah. It, goes with, it goes with the Hollywood stars they have in the sidewalk. Those are all the celebrities who have sold their soul to Satan for fame. And just, just it just it goes on and on forever yeah. and ever. And, and people just, they just go with it. Yep. To follow up on that, um, you was talking about, uh, you mentioned like the 30 feet, the 33 vertebrae and... Obviously, Jesus died when he was 33. Um, uh, from your point of view, can you like explain the whole um, the whole process of the oil going down the body and it going to the sacrum area, then rising back up? Give us your perspective on how that works. It's the <clears throat> it's the secretion from your your Santa Claustra. It's it's called DMT, dimethyltryptamine. It's when you sleep, it leaks because it's in the center of it. You know, in the center of your head is already dark, and inside that pineal gland, it's it's even darker. You know, so most people refer to it as the black hole. But when when you when it's that dark, your your mind it seeks out that angle of light. There's one angle of light that is always supposed. It's for you. It's got a message for you. You know, most people don't answer the call. You know, <clears throat> so when it and when it goes down, it can't. You can't. You can't do it when eating meat and drinking alcohol because you have an alkaline. Your spine is is the bottom of it's acidic and the top of it's alkaline. You know, yeah. and the alkaline alkalinity is always melting into the acid, always constantly. You know, and you it's seven. That's why they have the number seven. That's the pH balance. You know, you got to yeah. balance that out so you can. If you get too acidic, you get the acid reflux and heartburn, and <clears throat> it's just re. It's just refraining from from eating meat and, and all that, you know. Yeah. Poison, you don't want to poison your body with that stuff. Yeah, I totally totally agree with you. Like, um, just to add to that, I want to uh, tell you that obviously, uh, since I've awakened and be, uh, come on this spiritual journey, I've two stopped eating meat. It's almost coming up to one year now. And I can honestly say I feel so much better, brother, and so much lighter, and I have energy in the morning. It's just, I know it might not be easy for some people, but I would just recommend it to anyone listening to give it a go, man. It definitely works. Right. So like, I just wanted to add to that. Um, uh, like you were saying about how um, the 25th of December is when... Uh, the sun resurrects, and obviously, three days prior to that, he, um, the sun stays still and then resurrects on the twenty fifth. Uh, is the do you think they've obviously the twenty fifth as well, which is two and five, is seven. Is there any um, think behind that, or is that just a coincidence? It's just when it and when it starts again. You know, <clears throat> they just that's where they. Because January is coming up in Capricorn, you know, and that, that has to do with the 12 days of Christmas and the yeah. Yule log. And 
and it goes back into Norse mythology is where it all started is you know it just it just starts rising back up the circle of the zodiac right there it's, it's literally the death of the sun you know it's yeah. the longest night so obviously the sun doesn't you know you don't see it very much that day and it doesn't move for three days it's in it's in its so-called tomb and yeah. it's just the goat he climbed the goats climbed the mountain and he climbs back up from there yeah okay um also, um, as we were talking about the oil, um, I want to touch up on also, um, once the, well, the oil, uh, the seed is planted uh, when the moon is in your sun sign, if I'm not mistaken, isn't it? Yes, there's one, you get one, it's planted every month. Yeah, so it's, it's planted in the um, when the moon is in your sun sign. Obviously, um, once that uh, oil comes back up, it also takes us. It also has a uh, same process as the sun, where it goes through like uh, the medulla oblongata, and it stays put for two and a half days, and then once it explodes, it produces new blood and stuff. Uh, do you know much about that? Not really, right there. I don't know the christening or the blessings. Or... Yeah, I, I don't mean like in terms of like the church. I mean in terms of like biologically. Yeah, it just it's, it's, it just enlightens you, you know. <clears throat> yeah, because I've heard that the oil magnifies like a thousand fold kind of thing, and then it, it produces new blood within the body. I haven't been, I haven't studied into that. Yeah, uh, that's stuff I've seen through like uh, Santos and stuff. He does work. Uh, have you seen his um his uh, what do you call? It? He's got a video called "The Christ Within." Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, and he talks about um, he talks about all that kind of stuff as well. Yeah, talking about the whole Santa Claus thing, uh, like you said, um, they say it's an anagram for um, Satan and uh, Lucas. Yeah. And I was uh, reading up that also Satan in Hebrew means adversary or opponent. I don't know if you was aware of that. Yeah, it's El Shaddai. Yeah. It also it also means shadow. Okay. But those those two it's just it's a Saturn alien holiday is what Christmas is. <clears throat> Constantine, you know, he said he had a visit from Jesus and then, you know, and all that and they and then they switched it in and then they they merged with the Catholic Church, you know, that's why yeah. it's called the Roman Catholic Church because the Romans and the Catholics merged together. <clears throat> okay. And it's all Saturnalia. The Yule log, you know, they, the Norse mythology of Christmas, they get the big log, the big tree log up, and they shape it into a, like a phallus because he was the fertility god, the Yule, god, the Yule log. <clears throat> and then they burn it. They burn it for 12 days, and then, you know, they sacrifice to humans and animals into the fire and, and all that. And then they dress, they dress Santa Claus dressed up, you know, he's dressed up like the shaman. You know, he the shaman would always go out and get the mushrooms for the medicines for the people, and and they the, the mushrooms, you know, they're pretty big, about a two a foot to two feet around, you know. So he couldn't. That's why he had that big sack. That's yeah. why Santa Claus has it as well. You know, he'd dry them out. He'd hang them. The shaman would hang the mushrooms in the tree. You know, big red mushrooms with white spots on them, and he'd hang them in the trees to dry them out. So when he came back, you know, they wouldn't be so heavy. And the ones that he needed for his, you know, for his patients, he would hang in the stockings by the fireplace to dry out. And that's where we get the Christmas stockings, you know, and that's from the Arctic. The North Pole is where that, where they was at, you know. Wow. So when he got back, you know, his house would be snowed in, so he'd have to go down the chimney, you know. Wow. Uh, you see, you were talking about the whole that Norse thing, because um, I also was looking up how, like, the whole Santa Claus thing come from... Uh, the god of Odin, which was also like the god of war and um, like ecstasy and alcohol, and that also links in with the whole like Saturnalia thing. Yes, yeah, so, it, it'd be Woden would be. It's also Wednesday represented, you know, and he was the daddy of Thor. Yeah. So and he rode the he rode the Thor rode the horse, you know, with the eight legs. Yeah. That's where that's where they get the eight reindeer. Yep. Yeah. It's just all taken. It's 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 crazy, you know. They just put they just pile it all together. You yeah, know? Right. it is crazy. I mean, like it, 
sometimes when you tell people this knowledge, they look at you like you're crazy because obviously they haven't looked into it or they're yeah. not aware of it. But like, I just want to say as well, for anyone listening to this, this is not an attack on anyone's religious views or anything. I just personally, I like doing these things because I just like people to be enlightened like myself and it's all about just getting the truth out there and right. making people realise. So I just want to clarify for anyone listening to this, it's not an attack on anyone's religion or their beliefs. It's just literally this is us just uh, connecting and bringing forth some truths for the people's enlightenment, basically. So I just wanted to um, make that clear. Also, um, talking about whole like um, the Satan and Lucifer thing. Obviously, we know like from astrotheology and stuff. Obviously, Satan is a, like uh, represents Saturn, and um, there's been a bit of a mixture of, of what Lucifer is. I know it means the light bearer and is known as the morning star, but there's a bit of a um, debate of whether it's Venus or whether it's the sun rising. What's your take on that? Lucifer, <clears throat> the word Lucifer, the etymology of it, Lucy is light, and yeah. fur is bringing, like, transfer, like like a conifer tree. You know, it fur at the end of it, and it brings cones. You know, it's a conifer, and it just, it, they've just demonized the words is what they've done. Yeah. Look, Lucifer is basically the rainbow, and Satan is just the darkness that it comes out of. Yeah. The shadow. Okay. Yeah, because I was uh, looking up, they were saying that obviously um, Santa Claus has a dual nature. Obviously, he's got uh, the whole side of him where he uh, helps the kids out and brings the presents and whatever. But also, he's got like his dark helpers, which is like the Krampus and. Um, they're the ones who deal with the bad kids kind of thing. And also, like, um, the whole Jingle Bells thing, I think, derived from the bells that were on the Krampus. If I don't know if you're aware of that. Yes. Yeah, he, he had the... Uh, I can't remember. The, oh, yeah, Cracker and Nasher was two of the little elves or whatever they had. Yeah. And there was also Black Peter, which they called Ruprecht. And he was the one who gave the switches and the coals and took the really bad kids away. It's just, it's all just a trick to, to get Christians to celebrate the, the pagan holidays. You know, even in the Bible, you know, it says, don't follow the heathen that drags the trees and into the house and decorates them with silver and gold. And, you know, it even says that in there. When you try to tell a, a Christian that, they're just so, you know, it, it breaks my heart. This, they're, they're so... They're so into that, you know. Yeah. You believe the Earth's flat, still, you know, and I'm, I'm like, you believe somebody lived in a fish belly, you know? It just, yeah, it just, yeah. it just hurts my feelings that you know I'm, I can prove what I say, and then you can't, but exactly. you don't want to, you know. Exactly. It's just, but I, there's nothing I can do, man, for them. You know, the, the teacher will show themselves when the, the student's ready, I guess. Exactly. Uh, you see the whole um. You see the symbols of uh, Satan and, uh, or Saturn and Lucifer, or Saturn and uh, Venus, or the morning uh, sun. Uh, obviously, the um, the Venus, uh, the star of Lucifer, is a is a five pointed star. Does that have? Do you know much about like the Macabre field and stuff like that? Well, the Venus is real. You know, it's just <clears throat> the feminine. It's, it's Adam and Eve. You know, when you come into March 21st, the yeah. real first day of the year, you know, you have Aries and Taurus, which is Adam and Eve. And yeah. then that's the top. That's Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden on the top part of the, the Zodiac. Yeah. And then when you get to Libra and Scorpio, that's Adam and Eve again thrown outside, thrown out of the Garden of Eden. You oh, know, yeah. it's, it's just... The separation, the September separates, you know, it's just, it's just crazy. Yeah, man, that makes, see, see, you've just made me realize, you say sept as well, and also, you see, one question, because what it is, I've recently bought a Bible myself, and yes. I'm reading it and trying to decode it and that, and obviously I was reading Genesis the other day, and, uh, I was trying to find out the different meanings of what it all... Um, from what I gathered, 
You see the whole Adam and Eve, like, by um, eating from the tree of good and evil? Right. From my um, understanding, does that symbolise them coming into physical reality? No, it, what it, it does, yes, but it's when, we, when you cross that line into the bottom, into winter, you yeah. know, you have, when you get into Scorpio, that's like they're trying to say, Afucus is the 13th sign, when it's not, he's, Afucus is the deacon of Scorpio, yeah. you know, and that's, he's the serpent there, and you, when you cross that line, you know, it's getting cold, it's, it's getting dark, you know, and it's, it's September 23rd, it's, all, it's judgment day, you know. Yeah. And then Jesus falls from there. The sun falls from there. You know, it's, it's called autumn, but they want they they use the word fall because we're the fallen ones. You know, the fellows. We have the phallus, which is also the word palace. You know, we're Queen L. Elizabeth. It's they're, they're, everything is about electricity because they don't want people to know about the magnetism. You know, they stealing that from you. That's our our energy is ACDC. It's our true currency. Yeah. You know. We have an account, which is AC count, and they use Washington, D.C. as the negative count, you know, oh, and wow. they, where they take our AC current from us, wow. you know, on the divine feminine land of Mary land and virgin, yeah, you know. And it's all about 10, you know. That's what say 10 is just say 10, T E N, you know. And, and Dia means 10, and it also means God, like Dias and December. It's all, everything is about 10 because it's the one and the zero of the binary code, you know, poles and holes. And it's just, that's what Polaris is. The North Pole goes into it. It's the Polaris, you know, it's the feminine. And the, wow. It's, it's just, they just, they don't want people to know about magnetism, really, you know, they just, because that's, the electricity is the force. Magnetism is the source. You know. Yep. It's just. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Because, like I said, I was reading it, and then I was like, I check it, checked up some like cabalistic kind of interpretations and stuff, and someone was saying about how like uh, the reason why it says that they will die if they eat from the apple is because it symbolizes them coming into physical. Uh, reality, which means they will definitely they they have like a set time and then they will die, which makes sense. But also, I totally get what you're saying as well about the whole um, not uh, the top part of the zodiac and the bottom part of the zodiac and the, the day and night and the hot and cold and stuff like that. So yeah, that makes a hundred percent sense. I wanted to touch up on um, something. Slightly off topic, but I just want to touch up on it briefly. Um, like uh, myself, I also write music and record music. You do yourself. How long have you been doing that? Uh, I've done. I've been doing music since I was like 14, 15 years old. It's, you know, I just I really can't find time for it anymore. Actually, to be honest, you know, I just, since I've gotten into knowledge, it's just all I do is study, and so I'm talking 24 hours a day. You know, I'm stuck out here in the middle of nowhere, off grid. You know, just, yeah. I've got Wi-Fi, and I'm I'm on it. As soon as I wake <laughs> up, you know, I sleep with videos playing on <laughs> like turn, life, uh, auto play on, and just let it go. Yeah, man, I totally understand where you're coming from with that because uh, it's just like. Uh, Sometimes with when I watch um, spiritual or occult things, I find them so nurturing and re relaxing. It actually puts me to sleep. To sleep. Exactly. So like, um, yeah, man, I, I totally, I can honestly say, I love watching your videos. Whenever you post a new video, I'm always excited to watch it. I, I basically um, came across your stuff like uh, through Santos. Yeah, I just I love when Santo shares my videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I talk to him a lot, you know. Yeah, man. But uh, yeah, I've I've spoke to him briefly as well. Um, I've been in a few like uh, these live Google chats and stuff, and communicated with him briefly. Also on Facebook as well, we keep in touch. Now he shared my latest um, show I did uh, recently on Flat Earth with. Yes. Um, Dan Falcon back and yeah, he really he uh, he shared that and it's good when people like that share it as well because I, I find that it really it it reaches more people. Do you get what I'm saying? Because obviously he's got oh, a yeah. big following, so it's all good. 
Santos puts it together like nobody else can, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely, man. I mean, like, I was saying in the last show, like, I used to follow, like, a lot of people, like, a bit more mainstream, if that makes sense. Yeah, I like, know what you're saying. People like, uh, like, Graham Hancock and Michael Tazari and, you know, the usual suspects, basically. Yeah. And, um, and I can, in the game. Yeah, yeah. basically. Because obviously you don't know any better, so right. you right. just go with that. But, like, um, yeah, man, I mean, ever since I watched Santos, I, I, I always say this the guy just was like a key that unlocked something in my brain. And when I watched his first presentation, it just. It blew my mind, and ever since then, man, my, my, I've been into it so much more. And I just, I just like, like yourself, I can sit here and watch videos all night and all day, and it's a very, I find it very therapeutic. Yeah, you get the more, you, the more you watch, the more pieces you get. You can fit them in. You know, I can watch Santos video six times, and the seventh time I'll get something else. Out exactly, of it. exactly. Is there any other people that you've been checking out that you're, uh, how can I say, whose work you like? Uh, I like Brother Sanchez. He does a, he does a real good job. Ex I really like bro him. Same, man. I've, I've actually um, got in touch with him to do a show with him. He said he'll do it, but obviously, I don't know, we're all busy doing our own things, but right. well, that's mad, brother. That's another guy. I watch loads of his videos, man. Yeah, he's, he's I like dope. his... his Mother Goddess videos, you yep. know, he does, he does a lot of flat earth, you know. He's... Yeah, that's where I learned about the whole macabre field and where he talks about the bee goddess and yeah. stuff like that. That's, that's very, very, very dope knowledge. Um, Beyonce it, and all that. I'm, yeah. I'm really into the Mother Goddess aspect of everything. Yeah, definitely, man. What was I going to say? Um... As we're still talking on the whole uh, Christmas thing, which is the main subject of uh, today's show, um, well, obviously we spoke about Santa Claus and the whole Jesus thing. Is there any other things that you can tell us which have hidden meanings for the whole Christmas story that comes to your mind at the moment? It's just, it's basically a, a, a Saturn alien holiday, you know, Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn and yeah. Aquarius on the first octave, so they, they just celebrate those two, I mean, there's not another one that owns, that rules two of them except for Saturn right there, yeah. they, Saturn opposes, the, the two that Saturn opposes are the sun and the moon wow. on, the, on, the, on the zodiac and in the sine wave, you know, like directly across from Leo, um, yes, is Aquarius. Yeah, and Leo is the sun, which is L. You know, the electricity. You know, it's, it's, it, people don't understand the difference between electricity and magnetism in the real world. You know, like yeah. like your hands. You know, you, whatever everything you can see, like your hands, you can see them. Those that's are, that's electricity, and in, in between the space in between your hands when you hold them apart, the space in between is magnetism. Yeah. You know, it's just and the the words that we speak is it's not how we say them, it's how they're spelled, you know, like Satan and Santa, you know, there's yeah. the same letters, you know, in Madame Blavatsky, you know, in uh, The Secret Doctrine, is, that's exactly what she said, it's just, it's the letters, it's not the words, it's the letters, because the letters are the logos, you know, yep. anybody who knows the prime creator and the logos knows that that's where the word comes from, is the logos. You know? Yeah, because um, you, you see, you say about, it doesn't matter about what order they're in, have you seen that um, meme where, They've they've jumbled up all the words and you try to read it but you can still read it. Exactly. Yeah, I've seen them. Yeah, yeah. So like, I actually come across one of them um, the other day, and that's similar to what you're uh, what you're saying. I see them do. They do it a lot with like Peter. You know, like when I when I think of reptilians, you know, <clears throat> I see. I see petri, you know, like yeah. the petri, like a petri dish that we live in, you know, the fl that's how I understand the flat earth myself, you know, you know, as I see it as, as a petri dish, you know, because what grows in a petri dish, you know, cultures, yeah. and we all have different cultures, you know, and that's what they, the powers that think they be, you know, they call the zodiac 
they call it the Umbrella Corporation, you know? Yeah. And it's it's just, that's where we all come from. It's, the, it's the zoo, zoo is animal, Dia yeah. is God, you know, ten. You know, it's just, that's the philosopher's stone. That's your free will. You know, it's it's a, ro a rotor, you know, and you rearrange rotor, you get Torah and tarot. And yeah. It's just, people don't see these things in it. Usually, it's just, they... They're stuck on that, that the Jesus thing, you know, and all those gods are born right there. All of them. Yeah. Every single one, you know, it's just... Also, um, a lot of people don't realize, but there's also many other gods and uh, historical figures that are born on the 25th. Well, funny enough, Santa Claus and Jesus are both born on the 25th, along with other um, deities and gods like Horus, Osiris, Attis, Krishna, Mithra, to name a few. So yep. people don't realise that through time it's the same story, but with a different cultural outlook or a different... Uh, different characters, basically. They've... Uh, is it... Amper I can't say the word where they've... Is it Amphram for Mulpies? I can't say the word, like where they make um, the cos just, the stars makes... into human beings, basically. Yeah, they're just characterized, you know. The, there's all all the characters go <clears throat> to the to the wandering stars, you know, yeah. which is what they call them in all the all the texts, you know, they're not called planets, they're just they're wandering stars. All the other stars they're firm. They're inside the firmament. firmament you know? yep. And then those, the other seven are outside. You know, they're, they're they're spinning around, causing spirals, which makes a spring. That's why on March twenty first is the spring equinox. It's their, it's a coil. You yep. know, and it's just like it's just it's the Fibonacci sequence. I mean, the Fibonacci spiral. You know, it's just as above, so below, which is on earth as it is in heaven it's the same thing just different wording you know you have the spiral of your fingertips you know tall water tornadoes hurricanes all the way up to galaxies which yeah i always emphasize the word gal and galaxy you know it's all feminine and it's just those that spiral is everything you know mm -hmm. that's that's that especially your fingerprints you know if, if people understood all the fingerprints that are on like iphones and stuff dollar bill that they would stop. They would, you know, that's that's a lot of energy in those in that money. Yeah. Also, they're doing the whole fingerprint on the mobile phones now, aren't they? That's another thing that people are not really clocking onto. You know, like the to get into your mobile phone, you can put a fingerprint on and stuff like that. Fingerprint activation. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, they, people don't understand that they are owned. You know, that they are possessed by the entity of id, which is id, which ID is the false idol that they're talking about in the Bible, you know, it's the ID and then the word after it is entity, identities, you know, they're, they're, they follow in science, which is the word seance, you know, yeah. and you know, you, you pull into the in trance at a, at a McDonald's or anywhere, you know, because you're in a trance, you go oh, wow. to the, the register, you know, it's Regis and Tor, Regis means king and Tor is of the Taurus field, the creator of the fertile crescent, Taurus wow. moon, you know. And then you go to that, and once you get to the register, you make trance actions, you know. And people don't understand that, that they're asleep, that they're wow. in a dream world, you know. They believe they believe it instead of knowing. Wow, bro. See, this is why I love, that's why I love talking. Well, I'm not saying that I, this is the first time I've talked to you, but this is yeah. why I love watching your stuff, man. Because, like I said, etymology is something that I'm really fascinated by. And it's something that I've made so many connections Myself, obviously, because I, I, um, English is my la main language, but I can also right. talk Turkish and Greek. And understanding Greek is a big, uh, thing of me understanding words because I remember Santos was talking about how, um, mono in Greek, uh, means like to be a, is the like is to, to is single and also solo in Latin which yeah. is the sun, also to mean single. But then I didn't clock that, but I know that in Greek, like when they say someone's on your own, if someone's on their own, they will say monosu. So, yeah. And solo here in English, it's solo. Yeah, exactly. So it's just, like Santos said, 
they hide the truth in front of your face. You just got to look for it. Do you get what I mean? Oh yeah, and, it's, it's hidden in plain sight. They don't hide it. Yeah, and like that's another thing that I love because you know we was talking about Satan. Yes. Well, in Turkish, it's Shaitan. Hmm. So it's S E Y T A N. So it's the same thing, basically. Yeah, it's just say ten, like yeah. the number ten. Just say ten, like yeah. when you, to die. People, I mean, when you look up the when you look up die in the in the dictionary or anything, you know, yeah. it means to split into two. Yeah. You know? That's why aren't you afraid, stuff? They're gonna kill you. No, I'm not. They really don't want two of me running around here. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because if you want, like, if you making if you're making metal parts, I used to work at uh, Kansas Castings here in Kansas, you know, and, you, and we made metal parts, and you got to make the die, you know, to make, as you, you can make as many of them you want out of that die, you know, and that's how, you know, that, that helped me a lot, and I used to be a, a really devout, hardcore Christian, you know, I know that, I know that Bible, you know, I got yeah. stuff underlined and circled in my Bible, like the whole gen Genesis, the genes of ISIS, you yeah. know, I, I got so many circles in there, because it, Every other sentence it says in the earth or on the earth. And yeah. Sometimes in the same sentence it'll say in the earth, on the earth. It just I don't understand that. I, I'm dying to figure out why it keeps saying in or on. It just changes. It's yeah. Uh, I, I was watching um, uh, Jordan Maxwell and he was talking about the Genesis book and about how really the English version is really not the true translation because he was saying that you see where in 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 the English version it says God but apparently in the Hebrew version that's translated as Elohim which means gods are you aware of that yes um, the Elohim, you know, is just the elements that we're all created out of. The moon, the minerals, yeah. the min comes from the word moon, you know. Yeah. And then, you know, that's why I tell people, you know, we weren't made, you know, they didn't make a cat in their image, you know, they made man, you know, which yeah. means hands, like manacles and manicures. Yeah, just, yeah that's you know. uh, also because, yeah, I see some um, a video on that about how everything with man is like what we use to like maneuver and um exactly manager uh, and yeah all and that, stuff, all that yeah. kind of word all them kind of words the man like the manos and stuff like that yeah. um and that's also uh what the mayan means was man as well you know the man yeah. calendar is just and everybody, it ended. It didn't end. You know, the Pisces calendar ended. ended yep. and then showing us the Aquarius calendar. You know, exactly. It's, I mean, it's just the Bible goes through the whole wheel through the procession. You know, you, you, you know, it starts in the Bible. It starts at Taurus. You know, Moses came down off the mountain, and then they had the golden calf. So yeah. Taurus bull. You know, and he he crushed up the calf. You know all that, and then we entered into Aries, which is the ram. Yeah. You know, and then they, you know, at the end of that story in the Bible, Abraham, you know, he takes Isaac up. He's, that's Isaac stamp means I sacrifice. That's what it is. He was supposed to sacrifice his first, firstborn son Isaac, and instead he saw a ram in the thicket, so he sacrificed the ram, and that's when we left Aries into Pisces, the two fish, which is Jesus. Yeah. And Jesus, Jesus was crucified uh, on the cross between the two thieves, which uh, is just daylight savings time. You know, September twenty. September 23rd steals your daylight. Yep. March 21st steals your nighttime. Also, he talks about um, going to the house with the man exactly. holding the water and stuff like that, which talks about Aquarius. Exactly, and that's where we are now. Yep. We just we exited the cusp in 2012. I posted that Aquarius timeline on my Facebook a while back. Yep. Is it when was the date? Was it was uh, it February 1960. Two. 1962. Yep, yeah, I remember. I knew. I've looked into it, but I couldn't um, remember the exact date. Um, I was gonna. I was you, while we was talk while you was talking. I was gonna ask you a question, but I forgot it. <laughs> um, what? So what have we just been talking about? Now we was talking about astrology and the whole. Uh, oh, that's it. I know. I was gonna talk to you about. Um, you see, like the great year, it processes backwards, doesn't yeah. it? Could you, 
with me, there's something that's always um, I haven't quite got my head ran. Could you elaborate on that for me? Well, every every 24 to 26,000 years, it, it slips backwards and in, into in, in slippage. You know, it, it it doesn't change anything in the stars. You know, I mean, that's what you said. Those are just behind it, you know, when yeah. you're born in, in, from March 21st to April 20th, you're going to be in Aries no matter no matter what's there, you know, even yeah. if it's Libra back there, you're still you're still Aries, you know, yeah. it's, it just, that's what, you know, it goes the other way, you know, it just slips backwards, that's, that's where we are now, that's what, how we got into Aquarius, going that way, yeah, it's just the, the different radiance, you know, it's just, yeah, they they don't give you the raw. They give you solid, liquid, and gas. Because then they want you to think that you're liable, and you know that you need a license to lie to your senses. You know, because you're oh, licentious. Wow. You know, we respawn. We are responsible. You know, we're made out of we're made out of carbon. You know, hydrogen. All you know, every, all that stuff. You know, oxygen, nitrogen. You know, it's. When you die, when your body turns cold because that heat, that fire, that raw leaves you, and it raises back up to the firmament, and then you fall again as rain, which is raw again, you know. Yeah. That's what buoyancy and all that is. That's why they lie to you about gravity. It's just they trick you into that word through the GR words, which all go back to, like, ground, grass, grain, gravel, grab, you know. It's just there's no way you can have gravity on, you know. You're telling me that there's something... A force so powerful that can hold a whole ocean onto a ball, oh, but, a butterfly, fun, but a butterfly can fly around. You know, it doesn't make. That's it's just what goes up must come down. That's all it is. Yeah. It falls. That's why you go to the fellowship because we're the good fellows. We're the fallen ones. We are. You know, it's a, a lie in the dictionary. It's called a fallacy, and that's why they change autumn into fall because it's AU, it's still in your gold, you know, they trick you, you got a signature when it's AU, it's an autograph, you know, you drive in a motor vehicle when you're actually traveling in an automobile, everything leads back to AU, you're the author, the authority, and they try to be the author of your life, you know, that's why you have a spine, represents a book, that's why you get sentenced to a term, and then you go to booking, in a, in the court, you know, it's electricity they use on you in there. It's circuit court, you know. You, you're charged. You put in a cell, you know. You, what? Yeah, I mean that's the whole um, the whole maritime thing as well, isn't it? In court, where they use the maritime yeah. law. Exactly. Mayor means you know. It means it's law to sea, like America. Yeah. Is souls. America, the etymology is sea of souls. That's exactly what it means. And everybody's talking about martial law. When you go from mare, marsh, when you look up the word marsh, it's a swamp or a wetland. You know, you're going from the laws of the sea to the laws of the swamp. And people don't understand these words at all. Yeah. Have you uh, read the book, The High Ram Key, or have you heard of it? I haven't. Okay, yeah, there's a book that I'm reading. Um... It's called The High Ram Key. It's uh, written by uh, Christopher Knight and Robert Lomas. And it's called The High Ram Key, Pharaoh's Freemasons and the Discovery of the Secret Skulls of Jesus. And in this book, they talk about how um, when the Knights Templar went to uh, Jerusalem to get the Holy Grail and stuff, that there was a text in there that said something about a star in the west and who if you went there you like your dreams would come true and stuff and i think it was talking about where they went over to america and like the star um there's a star called meru which um they named america after i don't know if you're aware of that yes i've heard of that yeah so uh yeah that's what because i could you talking about the whole america etymology it just reminded me of that and i was just wondering if you heard yeah. about that story I was I was reading into something on that a while back, and it, and it got me to thinking of like the name Christopher, as in Columbus, because they all obviously they're the District of Columbia, and that's their family. But when you think of the word Cristo and fur, like transfer to to carry the Cristo would be Christopher. You know, it's just something wow. that I think about a lot. You know. Wow. Yeah, I I do that a lot, like make um, connections because you see, like. Um, with the whole like Sodom and Gomorrah thing. Exactly. It's the whole, it's the sacral area, isn't it? Yeah, that's, well, where, that's, that's exactly right. That's where they get 
that's where they get the word Lord. The word Lord is how they say lowered, your lower yeah. bowels. Your, you know, Baal and yeah. Lord come from lower bowels. And Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, and they, that's why, you know, the, the pedophile cult, you know, they defile in that sacrum, you know. Those those kids, those kids, <laughs> those 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 boys, you know, they are, they're never going to be able to fix that damage to their to their sacrum area. Just it's just it's crazy, you know. Because also, I I know I I thought in my mind. You see the word Gomorrah, right? Well, in in Greek, to um, the word I think is G A M. I think it's N I Z gum niz or gum or something. Means to like have sex, right? So I, I made that connection. That the word oh. gomora is very similar to a word in Greek, which means to have sex, and that that corresponds because obviously it's the sacral area. So when you know, it, all this knowledge leads back to 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 sex magic, to tantric magic. It's yeah. all of it, you know. To turn on the power, you know. Turn on. I mean, if people really understood what the term to come together meant and when those energies are spiraling up to connect to the ether through the heat that's why you they have you sign these marriage contracts because they you signing that energy over to them you know and like mare age mare means horse you know yeah. and the male horse what do you do to the male horse you groom it so the male is the, called the groom yep. and a female horse to so put the bridle in her mouth in the horse's mouth to guide it around so you got the groom and the bridle and it's just, and it just goes on, and I can go deep into it, you know, I just... Yeah. Yeah, also, um... Another, how can I say, another, uh, syncreti uh, like, another thing I syncretized was, you know, um... Pollux and Castor? Yes. I'm familiar with that real well. The, everything is the twins. Yeah, you see, obviously, well, I don't know if you, if you're... Are you aware of the term bollocks? Bollocks, yes. Yeah, obviously that means testicles, and yeah. and um, castor. It also sounds like castrated, and then yeah, twins and is like I made a connection with that. Would you say, is that the right connection I'm making? It sounds about right, but I, I look at castor as in like yeah. spells and stuff like that because they're the fishers yeah. of men. You know, the anglers, the Anglo-Saxons, the English, the Anklish. Yeah. You know. Give us this this language, you know the word lang. You mean like linguini? You know it means sausage. And all all of it goes back to phallus. Most of the words are all sexual. You know. Wow. And they just it's just like commerce. Commerce means sex. Congress means sex. You know, and they give you a constitution. You know, which which the con words they come from Constantine and Genghis Khan. You know all these. All these words are just every conversation we have is a contract, you know. Like, if I say this is a laptop and you say this is a laptop, then we've made a contract that this is a laptop, you yeah. know. And people don't understand that they're using those, they're using their words, so they're in their fiction, you know. That's why they go into court and they get they get booked, you know. You go, you know, you don't you don't know your words. You just going in there, you know. It's just. I don't have to pay my taxes. Yes, you do, because you signed the thing. It says, you know, it doesn't say anything about your income. It says wages, you know. Yeah. You're not making income. You're making wages. It says you got to pay your wages as taxes. You said, obviously, you're not making income because you signed a thing that says you're making wages. Yeah. And people don't understand that, so they're getting they're getting hurt. Yeah. Which is, you know, they, they, they're right, but they just don't know how to say it because it's just a trick that's being played. The tricks of Ma, Matrix. Yep. Also, it's like it's it's the same with like um, when you get stopped by the police. Obviously, they language is almost like a spell for the authorities because they say like if a police stops you, they say, "Do you understand me?" Exactly. If you say yes, you have to stand under them. So that means you have to then go by what he says. But obviously. I understand not everyone's going to know this. We're all trapped in the system. People have got kids and jobs and things to do. Then not everyone's not got the time to look this kind of stuff up. But this is why I like to make this. And at least I feel like I can do my part to try and help. And nice. this is why I do these shows. Not also that. Also, I like to talk to people and learn from them. 
I, I take each of these shows as a lesson because with me I've I've only recently like how can I say it's been three years where I've been studying things right. more in depth so to me I'm still new to it and I'm learning and that's why I love connecting with like-minded people to discuss ideas and make things more uh, how can I say clarify things and right. obviously we've all got our own interpretations to things but Knowledge is power at the end of the day, and it can help you progress as a human being, in my opinion. It can, it really can, you know, because once you know what's going on, and you know, you can, you know, that's that's how I look at it, you know, learn to play the game better than them, you know, and then exactly. be mad, you know. Exactly. Because, you know, when you, and if you got that ID, that's what they want when they pull you over. They want you to hand them that ID with that name on it. You yep. know, because that's, that's their name. You just committed fraud against them, so now they can do whatever they want to you. You want to play the fraud game, you know, they got to wait for you to, to break the law first. And you did that by handing them that all capitals, Capricorn name, you know. Exactly. Yep. They they incorporated that name. That's why when you go in the courtroom, you know, you got the, the prosecutor over there. And then when you speak, you know, and they'll say, are you here pro se? Not me. I know who the pro se cuter, the prosecutor is. He's that name until I say I am, and I'm not going to do that, you know. Because, you know, when you use that, when you use the ID, it makes you an agent of the government. And when wow. you put A in front of a word, it means none. It means you're not a gentleman. You're either a gentleman or an agent. And if I'm an agent, then I need my paycheck. If I'm a gentleman, then I need my paycheck. You know, either way, I'm, you know. Is there a man or woman in here? Is there an injured party? I have the right to face my accuser. Period. Yeah. You know? Also, a lot of people don't realize that even if you do get pulled over and stuff, like unless you're doing commerce, you don't actually have to produce your driving license because you're not driving, you're traveling. Exactly. And this is another thing that, obviously, because we've, if we get stopped by the police, obviously, it's that automatic fear factor of, oh, what have I done wrong or... But you pro like probably half of the time they're just stopping you to try and get. Obviously, they're a corporation, so every right. stop they make is just flash, more money they for them. That red and blue, that it's elect electricity, yep. magnetism, le real so fast. You know, you feel that in your backbone. You'll feel it in your spine when those red, when those red and blue lights start flashing behind you. You know, and you know most people they try it and then they still get in trouble. But if you're if your car Automobile is financed through their banking systems. You, you, there's nothing you can do about it. You know, that's theirs. Period. Yeah. That's what. It's not yours. You can't own anything. You cannot own an atom. This is a use of fruct. You know, you're only using it. That's exactly. where people get everything wrong. If you own something, you won't have a deed. You'll have a patent. You know. It's yeah. just, then the word own is just a play. You know, all the words, every word they rearrange like own now. And one W O N, yep. and then they got N W O that they that's what they they're using these words against you, you know, neo one eon. They're all just different spellings of the same letters, mm -hmm. which are notes. You know, when you play the letters and notes. You got a bank note, a debt note. It's all about sound and light. One question I was going to ask you, which just come to my mind actually, and I was I thought about it earlier. You see how um, the days, like Monday is the moon, Tuesday is Mars, Wednesday is Mercury, Thursday is Jupiter, Friday is Venus, and so a Saturday is Saturn. And do you know why they've put them in that particular order? Because I know in terms of the, the chakras, they're not in that order. So do you know why they've mixed them up? Or is it just, again, to delude us? Or why the certain days are in a certain order, but in the chakra system is different. I've never really thought of that, you know. I know the chakras is Moon, Mercury, Venus, Sun, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, yeah. you know. But the days are slightly different. Yeah, I've never, I've never thought of it that way. I know in the Bible that everything is created that way, you know yeah. what I mean? Because I use that, that's what I use in my flat earth conversations with people, you know. If, God made the sun on the fourth day. What was we spinning around till then? And how could there have been? How could a four days pass if the sun wasn't even created yet? You know, it's just exactly. Oh, I've See, I've never thought of that, brother. See, that's a great point that you just made there. It just, it just, it, it bothers me. It's weird to me. Yeah, man. <laughs>
I mean, the whole flat Earth thing. I'm, I'm glad it's. Um, yeah, I'm, a, I mean, I'm, I'm into the flat Earth. You know, like the devil, Satan took Jesus up. He took him up on the highest mountain. You know, what did he do? He showed him the whole world. You know, how, if, how can you see the whole world if it's, it's no, it's no ball. It just all goes back to Baal, Baal's above. Yeah. You know. Which goes back, you know, back in the day when they didn't have taxes, you know, they'd come and they'd take it in bales, you know, like a bale of hay. You know, it's just all, it's all bale and bale. <laughs> also, the ball, um, does that not correspond with, obviously, in our head, we've got uh, the lamb and the ball, and the ball is the animalistic lower nature, and the lamb is the more godly nature, isn't it? It's Aries, see, right, but Aries is the, is the pineal gland. Yep. And Taurus is the pituitary gland, yeah. you know, that's that's the ram and the bull. The cerebrum the and cerebellum, isn't it? As yeah, well. the, the Sarah and Abraham yep. make cerebrum, and then a bull would be a cerebellum. Yep. And it's also, those are the two lost tribes of Israel right there, you know, those two. You know, they'll, you've never accessed them being acidic, ever. Not yeah. ever. You know, you can't raise above the heart chakra, and it's, it's just, um... Uh, it's also is where Aries is the, is the ram. That's where they call. That's why they call people sheeple. Yep. And then the bull would be is the chattel. Those is that's yep. the sheep and the chattel because they 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 blocked you. You know nobody looks at anything. They just accept what they was told when they was three years old, and they pass it on and keep passing it on, and it's all nonsense. Yeah, like the, lang the language has been confused, and that's why I love etymology. You know. Yeah, same brother as well because. It just it's like that aha moment when you actually realize what it's saying it's like it's amazing I, I, like I said I, could, I love it I could sit there and exactly. talk about words all day and stuff but um and you can read better you know like when I read exactly the, I go back to the Bible and I know the words you know I can you know like Cain and Abel I, that's that's the cannibal story you know the yeah. Trinity. They kill he Cain killed Abel because you can't have you know it's just you can't have four it's positive negative neutral there yeah. you know and it's just like in Revelations the four horse four horsemen you know that's what? four horsemen of the apocalypse is that yeah yeah you, when you read it when you read it knowing the words you see that it says the four Horuses the four seasons the four oh, seasons wow. you know it's just and it's just what really bothers me though is the trumpets and then Trump and Pence being the president over here was just resident with the P in front of it. <laughs> oh, wow. But, um, yeah, I, I just want to say to you, thanks a lot for joining me today, man. It's been a fantastic, fantastic chat. Yeah, it's um, my pleasure, man. We it's can, truth. <laughs> yeah, definitely, brother. We can always link up again and do something on a different subject. Or even if there's something that you want to get off your chest... You right. can feel free to contact me and we can talk about it and do a show about it. Also, it would be good sometime, um, I'd like to get a group chat going with a few different people. I'm always available. And uh, um, we can do that. But I, I just want to, again, thank you for taking your time out to talk to me. It means a lot. I'm, like I said before, I'm a big, big fan. I follow your work. And um, all I can say is keep up the great work, brother. And just before you go again... Again, just let the people know where they can check your videos out and how they can get in contact with you. Uh, I, I appreciate that. You know, you you watch, follow my work and stuff. I've been checking you out too. But you can find me on on YouTube under Stovilla Elohim Ra or on Facebook under Stove Jason Stoddard. 